Okay, right now. Okay, 97.3 and 107.9 The Rock. We started that set with Jethro Tull, Too Old to Rock and Roll. Gladys Knight and the Pips doing their version of Heard It Through the Grapevine. That's probably, eh, that might be my favorite version. We heard Unit 42 doing Concrete and Clay. Patti Smith doing a cover of Everybody Wants to Rule the World. The Pretenders with a song called Talk of the Town. And I'm blanking on the band name. Oh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Jesus Christ. Around the World from Red Hot Chili Peppers. We heard William Shatner doing Bohemian Rhapsody. And that was, of course, Sly and the Family Stone with Sing a Simple Song. Okay, my special guests are in the studio. And we have finally figured out how to get their music on for you to listen to. So I'm going to start with Peter Cornell. He is the lead singer of The Flower Machine. <laughs> My brain is like deteriorating as I sit here. Okay, so let's check your... Hello. Yes, hey. Oh, nice. Good. I think that's perfect. Okay, hi. Hello. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so keep it close. It's funny you mentioned Gladys Knight. I ran into her once in Vegas, and she was having a terrible night at the tables. She lost <laughs> She lost two pips. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my God. Wah, wah. <laughs> okay, so tell us about the band and your music and all that stuff. Oh, Carl's well, back yes. back there laughing. To our millions of <laughs> yes, fans, you know, and the crowd, the throng of people outside as we arrive at the studio here. Um, yeah, we're uh, uh, the Flower Machine is a psychedelic rock band that started in, uh, down in Los Angeles, and we've been doing this for 19 years. Um, I think I've earned a gold watch by now. But so we just put out a new record on green vinyl, and we're gonna play a few songs from it today. Apparently. <laughs> so you want to talk about what track? We're gonna hear track five because that's what we've been trying to get. Yes, to. <laughs> we've been laboriously queuing up the green vinyl. It's uh, it's a song called White Cloud. And it's dedicated to Pippa, who puts in a guest appearance at the beginning. And did you write it? I did. I wrote it. I sang it. I, you know, as they say, I've suffered from my music. Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I this is my first attempt at, okay, I've been here for eight years. This is my first attempt at this turntable because it's always intimidated me. But I'm going to play the damn thing right, okay? Groovy. Hang on, folks. No. Uh, I played the wrong button. Are we good?
Okay, that was very nice. White Cloud. Um, and we want to mention the band members. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's me uh, on vocals and um, uh, other instruments. And uh, Carl Dabowski, who is here today, actually. Um, and he, Your mic's not on yet. He played, <laughs> he, he played uh, drums and electric piano on that one. And uh, also on psychedelic Ebo guitar in the background is Rob Vermeulen, our bass player. And I'm going to mention him 18 or so times <laughs> today because I get a free hour of studio time every time. So Rob, Robo Music, Moro Bay, uh, the most wonderful engineer one could hope for. And uh, contact him, take him out for a glass of wine, and uh, you'll be glad you did. Uh, we're going to go for Neon Mushroom Cloud, which is uh, uh, another cloud-related song. And this yeah. one's uh, ultra-psychedelic with uh, sitars and all sorts of crazy things. And um, another, another one I wrote um, for no particular reason. And which track is it on the... Uh, it's the very first one on side oh, two. Yeah. yeah. We can do that. All right, so... Ah, here and here it is. That's vinyl, folks. You can't fake that. It's real vinyl. Can we hear it? Don't hear it yet. i 
turning oh. on the mic would help. Yes. I'm just like all over the place tonight. Okay. Yes. So. And uh, this, none of these things would happen if you use Rob at Robo Music <laughs> for your sound recording needs. Just putting that out there. That's number <laughs> what, two. What music? Rob at Robo okay. Music. Yes. Right. He's in Morro Bay. So there's no need to go far afield for quality sound. Okay. Okay. So I have some questions for you because I'm assuming that this is something that you've always been interested in playing music and stuff so yeah so tell me about um what else what, have you played in other bands did you when did you start writing and uh, what other i started writing songs when i was about 12 back wow. in back in holland where i grew up um yeah i've always been obsessed with uh, 60s music because my dad had all these great 60s albums <clears throat> like uh, you know, Beatles and the soundtrack from Hair, oh my Sa God, soundtrack my from Easy Rider. Yeah, no, it's crazy too because my dad was just like a, a Dutch businessman, and he wasn't like a crazed drug addled hippie, but he had all these great records. So that's what I grew up listening to from age six onwards. Nice, sounds like my music. That's what I grew up listening yeah. to as well. <laughs> um, so what what were your inspirations? So Hair and the Beatles and the '60s music. Did they did they play? Did he have like um, R and B and and stuff like that mm. from the U the U S? No, the only the only U S things he was into is he really dug uh, some of the jazz guys like Errol Garner and Oscar Peterson. He had really hip tape. Like if you looked at my dad's record collection, you'd be like, this guy's a genius or a madman. One of the two, you know. Wow. I'd say genius, but uh, it was probably when I was 13, I discovered Sid Barrett, the guy that started Pink yeah, Floyd. Yeah. yeah, that changed everything. Yeah. Got wow. myself a guitar, and here we are. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. So where can people get your music? Uh, everywhere. You can get it uh, from Amazon. Thumb drive, CD. Yes. Eight-track <laughs> cartridge. No, no eight-track <laughs> cartridge. Hopefully next month, maybe, <laughs> for Christmas, if you're, if you're nice. Um, but no, we... We're on Apple Music, the Spotify, the Amazon, oh, uh, and we're on Bandcamp. And of course, because we're playing it on vinyl, there are, are a limited number of green vinyl records, which in the States, you can get it from Jigsaw Records in Portland, our friend Chris that's doing distribution. So and would they just go to that website? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can go to our Bandcamp or go right to Jigsaw Records in Portland and you get the record. And it's value priced at $18 American. Pretty cool looking green vinyl, too. It's rather nice. Yeah. <laughs> we, we do try. We do try, Lisa. And then in Europe, you can get it from Shiny Beast. Our friend Renee at Clear Spot has set it up so that in, in Europe, all of Europe, you can get, uh, get the record from, from there as well. We have a listener in... Uh Northern Europe. I know this map is too small for me to see what country it is, but I can see. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's Holland because that's. It's not Holland. It's not. No, oh, sorry. Uh, that's okay. We'll let it I go. I think it's like Finland, maybe. Yeah. Um, so well, we're in the Baltic there. We're really big in Estonia. <laughs> Are you? No, we're not. <laughs> We'd like to be. <laughs> When's the tour? Yeah, well, we keep arguing about our gong of fire. Like a lot of these theaters won't let us play because we like to have this big gong of fire on stage. And they're like, no, the guy from the fire department comes and says, no, you can't do it. And we're like, okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's next? What's the next track? What do you want to play? So, what about oh. what about where do you get your inspirations to write these songs? Where does that come from? Or do you, do you, do you just like dream and wake up? You know, like Paul McCartney had a dream about scrambled eggs and came up with yesterday. Yeah, well, that sometimes uh, ideas for songs just kind of present themselves out of nowhere, seemingly over the psychic transom and. You know, you, anything could be a song, right? Yeah, and then I then I'm just the court reporter scribbling it all down. You know, one time um, I wrote, <clears throat> well, I didn't write it. I wrote, I just wrote it down. I was at a zoo and I looked. Uh, I saw a marmoset, like a tiny little marmoset, and we locked eyes, and it's like he transmitted a song to me. <laughs> no, I know it sounds insane, but. <laughs> And I, and I got home and I wrote it all down. And I thought, oh, this is probably, I don't know what this is going to be. And I, I, I tried playing it, and it was, it was really good. So know. was it coming from the point of view of the marmoset? Uh, somewhat. Okay, yeah, cool. It was, yeah, it had to do with time Is it travel. on this record? No, that's oh, one of our it. old records from <laughs> the old days, from, you know, the good old days. Okay. But then again, they weren't that good because I didn't know Rob at Robo Music, who would record your band. <laughs> There you go. Okay, that's good. hour number three for that's, free. I think yeah. that's four. That's probably okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it four. Okay, so what's the next track we're going to hear? Um, well, it, it requires flipping the record 
But I wanted to again. Play. Yeah, again. Okay. Sorry, you know it's the trouble with records. You got to keep flipping them. That's okay. Yeah. I can do that now. Labor intensive, as the as the kids say. Okay. So which uh, which track is it? On side one, we're going to try track three, and that's um, that one features Carl. Okay. Uh, that's one of the ones that Carl and I wrote together. Carl did all these great guitar parts and added drums, and then. I thought, wow, that's neat. I'm going to put vocals on that. I'm going to write words, and, and so I did. And this is what it sounds like. It's called I Saw Her Name. I Saw Her Name. Okay, so I'm going to um, start it, and it might be a little of the song before because I can't really see where the line is, but I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> listen to the colors and now I saw her name. I so suck at this. I just really do. I'm sorry. I think you're doing great, Lisa. <laughs> Don't doubt yourself for a moment. God. All right. Uh, okay. We're with Peter Quinnell from The Flower Machine, and we're talking about the new record. What's it called? Volume 5. Volume 5 is the name of the new album. We're going to be playing some more music, but right now we're going to take a little station break, and we'll be right back. When danger is imminent, will you be prepared? Now many mobile devices can bring you critical information from local sources you trust. With the unique sound and vibration, wireless emergency alerts keep you in the know wherever you are. Learn more at ready.gov slash alerts. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Uh, second to the last song. 
Okay, we're going to go the there. Last, no, the we're going to go there in a second. Uh, in the meantime, I have to talk about Cheryl, the chameleon, who's going to be here at 7 o'clock when my time is up tonight. And uh, I don't know if she plays records on this turntable, but she's probably better at it than I am. Anyway, she's going to be here from 7 till somewhere between 11 and 1 a.m. Uh, so stay tuned for her. She'll be here. And also, I want to tell you that The Rock has new tote bags available. You can get them at centralcoastradio.org. You can get them before they disappear. We want to thank Cayucos Collective, a fun place to get original Central Coast artwork, custom clothing, and accessories. They print our shirts up for us, and we really, really appreciate it. Okay, and, uh, oh, one more thing. One more thing. Let me just shuffle my papers around and tell you about Burgers and Brats. Burgers and Brats lunch at the VFW number 2814. You can enjoy a hot off the grill hamburger, cheeseburger, or handmade bratwurst sandwich at the VFW post 2814 in Atascadero. Starting at only six bucks each, the meal comes with your choice of toppings and condiments, a bag of chips, and a bowl of chili. That's a lot of meat. The public is welcome. It's held Wednesdays from 11.30 to 2 p.m. You can go to their website, vfwpost2814.org, for any updates. It um, benefits the Veterans of Foreign Wars, number 2814. It is free, except you pay for the lunch. It's every week through December 28th, again from 11.30 to 2 p.m. in Atascadero. All right. <laughs> and we appreciate your service and all that stuff. That's what you say to veterans, right? Okay. You can get on. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you could hear me. In the That's okay. I, I got you on now. All right. Okay. So we're flipping the record again. Yeah. And okay. let's let's play the last song on side two. That's kind of a trippy one that I think maybe the listeners will enjoy. <laughs> and it's, I'm sorry, which track? Uh, the last one. Yeah. It's a rare, um, it's a cover of a very rare song that was on Beatles bootlegs in the 70s. It's called Peace of Mind. Okay, so I'm going to line it up. I'm going to keep your mic on because you can tell us. (laughs) Hi, home folks. listen to this one. It's okay. This is why I don't use the turntable. It's it's highlights from the new album. Perfect. Yeah, and and, okay, now the next song is is the Beatles cover. Well, it's not really the Beatles. It's uh, inspired by the Beatles. Inspired by the Beatles, if you like, yes. Yes, it is, isn't it? It's a little bit of that. (laughs)
Hi, folks. That was Peace of Mind by The Flower Machine. I'm Peter Quinnell, and you're not. Um, <laughs> so next we're going to be talking about uh, a, funny, a funny story about the release of this album. It was released um, a few weeks ago on October 22, and that date was chosen because that's my birthday. Now, what I didn't know, what, you know, months ago when we, um, you know, got these, before we got these back from the factory, when we chose that release date is that also happened to be the release date for the new Taylor Swift album. Oh. So we rather got, you know, stomped like a narc at a biker rally in terms of attention <laughs> for, the, for the album, but that's all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she'll she's she's a passing thing. She'll you know. Yeah, she's a blip. She's, she's a, blip. a blip. She's That's dying right. out. She's dying yeah, out. Really. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. So very Beatley. Who's your favorite Beatle? Uh, John. Oh, goody. Yeah. My guy. <laughs> Anybody that could ride, I dig a pony and across the universe. Clearly, genius. Well, you know, I just read something where supposedly he said in the Playboy in um, magazine interview in 1980 that he should have written, um, "Oh, darling." Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> I would have sounded better singing that. That was that. That should have been my song. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Mind you, George is pretty good too. Yeah. You know, yeah. Savoy yeah. truffle and all that. Yeah. Those, uh, yeah. Not, all that stuff. Not guilty. All that stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, so the record is available in CD or vinyl. Yeah. Right. Well, no, not CD. No. You, you can download it, or you can buy the vinyl. There's, there's no commercial CD. Oh, and I should also mention, um, you can buy the album in person at uh, Boo Boo's Records in, ta in Slow, and you can also buy it from our friends Patrick and Justin down in Grover Beach at Phantom Stranger, really cool record store um, that's kind of new. And uh, they actually, they've got all our records <coughs> there. How many do you have? Uh, well, this uh, this, this is, is the, volume five. It's the fifth one. <laughs> and we've also done a couple singles and uh, CD, EP, and oh, cool. There's a whole catalog. See, when you do it for 19 years, you kind of accumulate a catalog of work, and you know. So, how many bands have you been in? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, a few other ones. I I was playing with uh, a friend's band for a while, and I played drums in another indie pop band uh, 20 years ago. And um, and I had a band before that that was more dysfunctional than Oasis, more fighting. <laughs> yeah, people not showing up for things. It was dreadful. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the life of a musician. Oh, well, sure. Um, okay, Groovy Man, thank you so much. Yes, thanks for having um, me. Wait, I was going to ask you something else, and now I have forgotten. Uh, well, let's just have a what cigarette about live, and you'll think of it. What about live um, gigs? We've been asked to do some live things, and so we may or may not do that depending on whether we feel like it because we're a bit fussy. Well, because we just think, you know, unless you can go out and really blow people's minds, i.e. the gong of fire, why do it, you know? So we're working up a stage act. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Well, thanks, Peter. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, so I'm going to play uh, a song, and we're going to play musical chairs here and have Carl come in and play some of his picks yeah. is it from a different album yes it's Car from a different album. carl has made his own solo album called noise solution and it's amazing and he's going to tell you all about it okay that sounds great all right so in the meantime let's listen to something let me find something here uh we're going to listen to oh speaking of 60s we're going to listen to this <laughs>
Now Carl's in the hot seat. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, okay, so, Carl. <laughs> yes. You have your own record. I do. Okay, and what's the name of it? And It's called Noise Solution. Noise Solution? Yeah. And you play all the instruments? I do not. I play most, a lot of them. Let's put it that way. Okay. But, uh, yeah, this first track actually is... Uh, uh, somebody you know is on it. Monty Elman's playing guitar. No way. Yeah. Wow. I yeah. know that guy. And, you know, it's funny because he, uh, when I was recording him, he's holding a con- this deep conversation with my girlfriend about mental health. <laughs> and he played the whole song. And then he's like, okay, I got to go. I got to leave. And he pack- <laughs> packs up his guitar and takes off. And it's just yeah. like, how did he do that? He's you know, he's a weirdo. Two things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm uh, sorry. What's the name of the song? Um, this oh, it also features Peter Quinnell. Uh huh. And he tells the story of penguins, elephants. Are you singing? And mellotrons. No, I'm just speaking. It's a poem. Oh, cool, <laughs> cool. Okay. And what's it called again? Tell me one of more time. Of penguins, elephants, and mellotrons. All right. So we're gonna play that. I feel like. What? I don't hear myself very good. You can turn, there's... And now perhaps a tale of penguins, elephants, and mellotrons. In a land where time flows backwards, round a transit car, and then back again. Ending up on the A14 motorway just outside Barry St. Edmunds. Now that spring has come, please speak directly into the parking meter and leave your message for the mushroom people behind an old brown boot. And now, read on. On a day composed of inverted landscapes, Mr. Stanstill keeps walking into hedges. Meanwhile, Annabelle has returned from Teachers Training College with a delicious secret. But what of Father Michael? It's difficult to say without a solicitor present. In a fortnight's time, we'll meet for crisps at the Bun and Puffin, where Claire will perform her topless tribute to Sir Kenneth Clark, while juggling apples and bathing in gin and tonic. And, if we can borrow Dell's old portable record player, we'll be listening to Sergeant Elliot Grimsby's new album, Lust Amongst the Teacups, of which the Barney Dean Chronicles said, Dear Sergeant Elliot, it was never very far from interesting old boy. Well done. But please, do stop hanging around our offices in Bond Street and inviting people around to your bed sit for lasagna.
can you hear? There, now I can hear me. Okay, good. <sighs> okay, so Peter did the poem on that song. Yeah. And you did the rest of the music. And while well, Monty's on there playing guitar, and the, he played some Rickenbacker. Your and, guitar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what else? Um, so when did you guys get together to do this Flower Machine band? <clears throat> was it two years ago? Or was, really? How long? Yeah, we, yeah. Two or three? Yeah, we met at, um, you know, I, I answered an ad. and You did? Yeah, I answered one of his ads, and uh, I hadn't been playing in a band a couple of years and been recording my own music. And, you know, I listened. He had a link on there. I listened to his music. And I'm like, who does this kind of music on the Central Coast? You know, I don't hear bands like this, and it's fantastic. So we met up and started working together. And recording and I, original music. And I know you used to you used to do just drums, right? Yes. And now you've expanded into playing. I've always tried to write music, yeah. and I've always wanted to get to that point. You know, I'm just really happy to finally be involved with Flower Machine, do my own music, and you know, um, it's just an exciting time for me. That's <laughs> great. That, That's great. Know? Yeah. I think it's. You know, as a musician, that's that's the goal to reach. You know, you can play in cover bands and, you know, if that's your thing. I just always wanted to get to doing original music. And when did you start writing songs? Um, I think I wrote my first song probably like when I was 16 or something like that. Yeah, wow. I still have it. You do? <laughs> yes. I had my, my mother had one of those little... Um, uh, what do you call them? Not harpsichord, but those little accordion key piano things with the little buttons on them. Yeah. And I just, I just played what I th thought were chords, and sounded right. You know, I just went by tone and sang on it. My sisters took piano lessons, mm -hmm. and I would always go there. And I don't want to learn the piano. I want to learn a different instrument, if anything. You know, I wanted to learn the drums. Yeah. It wasn't until I was 16 that my mom got me a drum set and you know from there it just took off and i really fell in love with it uh, you know i come home from high school and, yeah so you know, did you do high school bands i did not garage bands. i was just learning like my sophomore year i was just learning how to play the drums so it probably was a year and a half before i actually started playing with a band and you know just Nervous as hell. Well, yeah, me. sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so do we have another track? We do. Okay. It's Noise Solution. So it's... Um, I play everything on Wait, this. Wait, that's I, a different... That's not Flower Machine. That's a different... It's, that's your thing. That's my thing. <laughs> you call yourself Noise Solution kind of thing? Uh, you know, it, it kind of started as a band name. I, I'm always trying to think of band names, and I wanted to... It's like I don't want to put Carl Dabowski on and it just sounds like who the, what the heck is this? <laughs> so Noise Solution was an idea for a band name, but okay. and I kind of throw it out there that way. Like I don't really put my name out there. It's like go check out Noise Solution. Okay, you know. all right. <laughs> okay, so is this? Do you only have two tracks on this CD? I only have two. I just you know that's I, okay. I thought we we're gonna do the thumb drive, so I had more, yeah. but uh, that's what you get. Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, okay, so. What's this track? Tell us. It's it's a six minute song. Uh, yeah, it's um, something I had laid down on keyboards a while ago and kind of edited it shorter because my songs were getting just too long and they, you know <laughs> they neander. So the whole side of an album. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, um, you know I tried to get a friend over to record guitar on it and you know he's just like. A, you know, Carl, you don't have to play so many notes. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that, and then I was like, I, I don't even know where to begin. There's so much going on, <laughs> you know. So it is that type of song. It's really aggressive, and it's something, It's you know, I enjoy 
certain styles of music that okay. are aggressive. So Great. What's it called? It's called Noise Solution. Oh, that's the name of the song. And the album. And the album. It's okay. It's the title track. It's the title track. On the Rock.
try to get the last little yeah, see, bangs in there, right? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like that. That was that was good. It's different. It is different, <laughs> and it's not because I was just saying I'm not a big you know progressive jazz fan because it kind of just goes all over the place and you can't follow it and it's, but that was that was better <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you yeah good okay um so what about do you ever play solo i do not no 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 it's for recording you know yeah uh, yeah i consider myself a drummer first so you know i'm trying to i'm working on guitar i really want to learn guitar better yeah so i can write more but um yeah hopefully flower machine will get out there and play yeah sometime. you guys should get out there yeah. definitely have you have you are you are you just not ready for it or you just can't find the right venue or what's the deal well, we've gone through people. We had a, a different guitar player prior, um. prior, and, you know, he went on to do his own music. And uh, we've just been recording because of the whole COVID thing, you know. Been, and, um, yeah, so I, I, something should happen. Yeah, down the road. yeah. We'll see. Get out there. You're welcome to come in here and play live if there's room. <laughs> <laughs> do that I love doing live music in here. That would be neat. Yeah. Um, Some bongos. Well, see, I had a, I had, a, do you know David Evans from, Anna, uh, he plays uh, Celtic music and stuff. And anyway, he's a okay. friend of mine and he's been in here and he came in with a, the guy that sits on the wooden box. I don't know what that's called. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, um, a what? I don't know what it's so called. Oh, what's it called? A June back. I'm, I'm a drummer now. I don't even know. It's <laughs> I'm not so much a percussion. I love playing the um, kit. So yeah, um, but but yeah, we we fit people in here anyway. You're welcome to come in and do that if you want. Uh, okay, anything else? You wanna you wanna um, promo your uh, um, record again? Yeah, you can. Well, you can get it on Bandcamp. Uh, Noise Solution. If you search Noise Solution, is probably the easiest way. If you want to hear more of my music, it's. Uh, under my name, Carl Dabowski, and uh, yeah, I and I am on Discogs as well. Um, you can find my music there. On what? Discogs. It's a uh, place to sell vinyl. See again, mm. I am just like so in the dark. About I, you these know, days. I'm I'm <laughs> trying to get it on CD Baby and have it for streaming and all that. Yeah, but yeah. Somehow I got locked out. You know and. <laughs> Yeah, they'll do that. They're like, it's going to take six months to, and I'm like, well, I can just go find another company and release it there, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I just recently joined Facebook, and I've had so much problems with that. Really? I, I You know, it's, we reject your ad, and then it's like, <laughs> then I see my ad there four or five times. I'm like, why is it there four or five times, you know? So I'm trying to get used to the whole social media Social media, media? yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm already ready to creep, you know. Right, yeah. Creep my way out of it. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. All right, well, thank you guys so much for coming in. I really, really appreciate it. Love the music. I'm going to play. I got to keep the vinyl. I'm very excited about that. And I have a, another Flower Machine CD, which I'm going to try and get to work on this deck again. And because uh, I love the songs on this called, it's called Cups, Cups of Tea and LSD. Which yeah. is great. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so thank much. So and I'm going to go yes. into uh, something here to uh, so I can escort you out. <laughs> this is KEBF Morro Bay and KZSR Paso Robles, 97.3 and 1.